All right, so we are almost done with this app and having it completed all the way to what we were hoping to have, or what I was hoping to have. So what I want us to first look at is this final piece, which is the media challenge. So let's say that all this information is put on this uh, app and the physician wanted to take a picture or a video of the clinic and display that video or picture on this app for other people to see. Well, if that's the case, we're going to have to add an, a camera component or a camcorder to our app and make it take a picture. That can be stored in the database as well. And we can make sure that we store the picture or video in there and be able to retrieve it off the data play, database when the display is on the screen. So along with other data you have stored in the tiny database, you're going to want to be able to do all those things as we start the app. So let's go ahead and start looking at what it is we're going to need to create to be able to add the media to our information. Well, the first thing I want us to do is go to the spacer piece here, and we're going to be adding a media button. So let's go ahead and add that media button. So I'm going to grab a button. I'm going to drag it in there, and I'm going to call it media. Okay. And what that media is going to do, oops, make this the current session. Yeah. I don't know why it wouldn't be. Okay. Let's go back to our project uh, video. I'm going to do this with a video or TV. So in here, um, forgot it. It must not have saved. Let's go ahead and put that in there. And we're going to call this one, again, media. Media. And that fits in there. So I wonder if we can, we have that centered there. Oh, that's good enough. If the text is kind of hanging off a little bit, I guess I'm not too worried about that right now. So we have our media button here. Well, that's good. So we're also going to want to have that media button go to another page. So let's set up another page, and let's call this one, let's call this page uh, media screen. Media screen. Okay? So we're going to add another screen, and that's where we're going to be able to keep all our media stuff. So what we need to do in the blocks back on screen one is we're going to have to add a way to get the media button. So did we rename the button? Nope, still says button one. So I'm going to rename that media button. That way I know everything is organized properly. Okay. Now on our app that we have created already, um, I have a little button that doesn't show up completely the way I want it to, but that's something I can putz around with later, but that's our media button right there. What we need to do is we need to set it up that when media button is clicked, it's going to take us to another screen. So let's go down here to, uh, oops, sorry, let's go to media button. And we're going to take when media button clicked, let's put it right there. And what we want it to do is open another screen. So now we'll go to control and open another screen, and the screen name that we'll put on there, I think we called it media screen. Yes. So when that button is clicked, it's going to take us to a media screen. Now, right now, there's nothing on that media screen, so <clears throat> that's no big deal. We're going to start designing that. So let's open up our media screen page here. And let's start building our media screen to look dandy. All right, so a couple things we're going to have to do. Let's say we take a picture. Well, we have to call camera one to take a picture. We've used something like that in Fix Me before. And if we can get it to take a picture, we can also call the camera to be able to also use a camcorder. We're going to have to put those things in our... Um, in our boxes over here so we have to go to the designer and let's go ahead and make sure we add to our media screen a couple different items that's going to allow us to be um, organized yeah that's what we're looking for so the two things that we're going to want to pull from our items are the media screen or sorry uh, two different things on here is the media we're going to want to be pulling a 
camcorder, a camera, and a tiny database. Those are the three things that are going to make this app successful. So let's go ahead and do that. <coughs> I'm going to pull a camera, a camcorder, and a tiny database, which again we'll find in storage, because we got to store this somehow. Why does it keep doing that? He's trying to open something I had from a while ago. I'm sorry about this. It's just taking time away from us being able to finish our project. Here we go. Just some more rambling time that you get to have with me. Let's go to media screen. Let's try it again. Media. Camcorder. Camera. And we also need to have our tiny database. So that'll be in storage. Okay. So now that we have those, we're also going to need a couple buttons. So let's go ahead and add to this a horizontal arrangement. I'm going to add a horizontal arrangement up here. And in there, I'm going to put two buttons. <coughs> and what I want to do is just have it real simple. Button one is going to say record video. And then button two is going to say play video. Those are the things that I want it to be able to do. So this one is going to be record video. As you can see, like people could get real detailed and make a lot of fancy stuff here. I'm just doing it to show you how to do this real simply. Play video. Okay. Now don't forget to rename these. Record video button. And we're going to make this one play video button. We also need another horizontal arrangement. You could do vertical if you want, but I just like using horizontal here. And two more buttons, one for take picture and one for display picture. So I'm going to go here to text button one, and I'm going to change it to take picture. So this is one where it's going to control the uh, camera on your device. Take picture button. And the other one will be display picture. So we're also going to have to have somewhere where we can display these. Display picture button. The other thing we're going to have to display here in the media is we have to have somewhere where we can actually have the video player shown. So right here I'm going to have some space for the video player. With, I'm going to make parent. And actually, I'll do that with both of the, with all these. Fill parent. Oops. Fill parent. Okay. And we can align everything centered. We can align everything centered. There we go. And the thing here is going to be fill parent for the video. And if we're going to display the pictures, we also have to have um, an image picker so or image display. So we're going to have to be able to display our image as well. Let's go ahead and drop that here. Oops. Wrong thing. Let's delete that. I forgot where our image piece is going to be located. So I gotta see if I can find it on here. Maps, no. Sensors, no. Social, no. Layout, user interface. Here it is. It was around there somewhere. And we're gonna have the width be fill parent. Okay, now we have everything that we want to. Height, we might as well make fill parent as well. For our picture okay now we should have everything we need for our display if i forgot something as i go here we can go back but now let's go to our blocks and let's get everything set up the way we want it to be so the first button we had excuse me was talking about the camcorder 
So we're going to have to have our video recording button done. So we're going to go to record video button. We're going to do dot click. And the video would be on the camcorder. So we're going to click the camcorder. And it's just going to record video. Now when we're done recording, so we're going to go to the camcorder. And when we're done recording, so after it's all done, what we're going to want to do is we're going to store that video <coughs> down in our tiny database. Our tiny database. So let's put the tiny database in here. And what we're going to want it to do is we're going to want it to get the clip. And that clip is going to be where it's stored. And we have to tag it. So let's just tag it with recorded video. That seems simple. I like that title, recorded video. So all the recorded videos will be saved in that clip from the camcorder. Now if we wanted to play that video, now we got to go to the play video button. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to have to set an image to be able to show that. So we're going to display that video in that image one picture spot. Okay. It's going to display it in there. And we're going to have it displayed in an empty spot so that there's nothing else in the background. That video player is going to have to pull the source from somewhere. So we're going to do video player source. <coughs> Again, this is all good information you can use if making your own app. Where are we going to get that from? Or where are we going to set that? We're going to set it in the tiny database. Tiny database. Oops, wrong one. We want to call tiny database. Okay. We're going to call the tiny, tiny database. And we're going to have that tag. What was it called again? Recorded video. Yep. So we're going to call it. We're going to take it and record a video. And if there's nothing there, we're just going to say no video taken okay we're also going to want to call the video player one to seek to find <coughs> here we go we're going to have it seek to find the ms the milliseconds in one so it displays one at a time and then once you have it all set up you got to have the video player start so that's our last thing we're going to have it to start Okay, next thing we're going to deal with is taking the picture. So let's go to the Take Picture button. And again, this one's really easy, just like this one we called the camcorder to record. We're going to call the camera to take a picture. Now, in the camera one, we're going to want to have something be done with the picture when it's done. So just like in Fix Me, after picture, we're going to put this into a tiny database. And we're going to store it, <coughs> call it to restore. Um, let's call the tag, if the picture's been taken, we're going to say picture taken. And again, we're going to get the image that was taken, and that's going to be stored in the database. Now, when we want to display the picture, we're going to have to go here to the display picture button. And when we click on display picture, this one, we're going to set the video player source. It's the video player source. Where is it? And we're going to set that video player source to nothing since we want the picture to show. Okay, just like image, we wanted to show nothing. We don't want the video player to show anything so that we know we're going to display a picture. It's not going to be ruined by a video. Now we can go into the image. And we're going to set the image one picture to pull up whatever we had on the tiny database. So we're going to go to tiny database. Let's get that value. <coughs> and we called it picture taken. So that's the tag. Keep those tags the same. And again, if something's not there, we're just going to say no picture. Okay. So everything is now done the way we want it to, except what if we wanted to go back to the home page?
that's one button we forgot to do. So I'm going to add one more button up here, and we're going to call this one the back button. And we're going to text. We're going to name it. Oops. Hit OK. We're going to say back button. And then we also want to make sure that we have that opportunity that if we want to go back, um, all we got to do is press back. So the media screen, when we press the back button on the media screen, that's going to be the little bar at the top. Um, we're going to set this up for two things. If we click the bar on the top, um, we do want it to be set to true. Then it will go back to the other page. And then what it will do is it will close the screen. Okay. And then it's going to open another screen. And that screen name again was screen one. And because we added a back button as well, we're going to use that back button. And when it's clicked, that one's just simply going to also open another screen. And we're going to name that screen the same thing. So now everything's set up to be able to go to the media page, do what we needed to, and be able to go back. You may have to reset your app to be able to make everything work. But that's everything you needed in the blocks to be able to either not let a picture be seen in a video play or not let a video scene have a picture play. Everything is set up now on the blocks and the designer. Now we've completed this app to work with every different scenario we, we could possibly think of. And that ends 2.4. Next time it's going to be making your own app and take the things you've learned from this video and the previous videos we've done in the entire project or the entire quarter or semester and use these as resources. You can always go back to them and watch things later as you start working on your own. Good luck in that final project. Can't wait to see what you guys come up with.